think that now Fortescue is secure. What's your view on the stock in light of the news? Brooke, I think one of the things that has been holding back Fortescue's share price along with the iron ore price has been this expectation that we would uh, need to see Fortescue secure more funding. And I think the expectations in the market was for about $1 billion worth of short-term funding. Instead, we've seen $1.5 billion being announced today, $750 million through a term loan and $750 million through a uh, revolving facility. And this is all, all together uh, to finance its uh, expansion plans. We know that Fortescue is aiming for 95 million tonnes per annum run rate by the end of the year and then by mid-2013 aiming for 155 million tonnes uh, per annum. Of course, recently we have seen Fortescue admitting that the costs will be going up. In fact, they raised their capital expenditure expectations from $8.4 billion to $9 billion and that's really behind the market's expectations around uh, the extra funding that was needed. Of course, if we add in the Solomon equipment of $1.6 billion, that takes CapEx to about $10.6 billion. So altogether, some pretty, um, some pretty ambitious expansion plans in place for Fortescue. I guess the good news is by mid-2013, what we are going to see is the capital expenditure um, mostly done by Fortescue. And what we will see is significant free cash flows flowing through. A lot of that, of course, is dependent on the iron ore price. And if we do see the iron ore price for a significant amount of time uh, slipping below and staying below that 120 US a tonne mark, then we could see Fortescue coming back to the market today. But for today, I think Fortescue share price should have a good session. The uh, expectations for funding has been holding back the share price somewhat. And with the risk on day, we should see our Fortescue shareholders quite happy. Trickle through through the course of this week. Um, particularly with mining stocks, maybe just sticking with what, what, what Ben's saying, what are some of those themes you're looking for? Um, and whether that kind of also alludes to some of the themes in the broader market. We do see earnings trickle through this week, but some significant earnings coming through. And then next week, there's just an avalanche of earnings that come through. On Tuesday, we're going to hear from Leighton's. They're going to come out with a half-year report, as well as Transurban, which comes out with a full-year report. And I guess Wednesday will be um, a, quite a big one, where we'll see uh, Computer Share coming out with its full-year result. And it's going to be Rio Tinto, which comes out with its half-year result, which is really going to take the focus of the market. And I guess having a look at those miners and expectations going into these earnings season is that we are going to see earnings decrease. If we have a look at the material space, we're expecting to see FY12 earnings down by 17%. Now that's just a consensus on the previous year. So we are seeing, expecting to see the material sector, um, I guess, impacted in terms of uh, negative earnings growth. So still growth in earnings, but going uh, backwards in terms of growth. On Thursday, another big one, we've got News Corp coming out with its full year result. We've also got Telstra coming out with its full year result. The telco sector is going to be an interesting one. There's some high expectations there. Expectations of growth in earnings of about 10% for FY12. Tabcorp will also come out with its full year result. And we'll actually finish Friday with a couple of uh, results as well coming through from Crown as well as Goodman Group in terms of the full year results. But this earnings season, we've really seen expectations being absolutely slashed. In fact, for FY12 earnings for the ASX 200, the consensus is negative 0.6% growth. So pretty much flat growth uh, for the year. But what analysts are going to be watching is a commentary on FY13. And that's because consensus still remains relatively high. Expectations of growth of 10.3% for FY13. If we strip out resources, that growth expectation is about 7.7%. So um, the market watching FY13 forecasts and I guess the impact that's going to have on valuations. And of course, if we have a look at share prices, um, they, they pretty much price in the future. So any adjustment to FY13 earnings could have an impact on the market.